Here comes the. Here comes the. Here comes the. Y'all don't really worry like that. Here comes the. Here comes the. Here comes the. Y'all don't really worry like that. Here comes the. Here comes the. Here comes the. Y'all don't really worry like that. I said so. I keep it built up in my. You there, Destruction? You there? Oh, you know I'm here. I'm here. I'm always here. There we go. Okay. So, welcome, mate. Welcome to our uh, first, um, well, podcast. I don't know whether podcast is the word because that podcast is when you listen to people like video, video cast. Well, some people call them video logs, but this I would say is more like a video pod. Video we'll pod. New, we'll make our own word. Oh, yeah, that's it. So, if, if no one owns that, we'll IP it. Okay. Protect it. Yeah. Still doesn't mean the idea can be stolen, as we both know, but like at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? What? People steal other people's intellectual property? Exactly, <laughs> mate. It's what makes the world go around. Apparently a US, a, a, a story only in America, apparently. But anyway, that's another time for uh, another story. Okay, so. Uh, wait, 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 wait. I got a oh. bone to pick. I yeah. got a bone to pick. So when we were talking about the podcast and doing yep. this and all that stuff, uh, how come you got a logo and I don't? Mate, well, what's up with that? Mate, look, destruction and destroy, okay? We know you're first in the partnership, okay? We've already sorted that, okay? But we know that Coach Ty as a brand is Coach Ty. So that that has to be there because it's part of my – it's like Hulk Hogan and WWF. That's why my good friend, you know, Larry, oh, he, 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 he wanted it. He said like – Fragile you know, ego. No, but like Coach Ty is like the like Hulk Hogan, like you, you know. So look, mate, make up your own one for next week. It's it'll be fine. Okay, let's just get on with it and don't argue. Hey, mate, no, hang on. What is that in the corner? We said no awards and no medals on show in the first show. This 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 award here. Well, <laughs> see that brings wait that brings up another point. I, like I got to get something off my chest. Yeah. Okay. Now I'm not going to name names. All right, but there's a coach out there that has been going around telling people all over the place that he's got this unbeatable coaching record against me. Hundred percent record. Hundred percent. Hundred percent record. 100%. But the problem is, the problem is, is that that's like saying, "Hey, I beat Tom Brady in the regular season." Yeah. Woo -hoo, woo -hoo. yeah, yeah How many yeah. of these does that coach possess? Well, See, I must, that, I, must admit, I must admit, I must admit, since you know, since leaving Thank the evil empire, you won that one. You also won the 2018 one. You 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 actually left the association as probably the most successful coach in you know WSSA history, you know. So Undefeated. at the end of the day, it's yeah. But again, we said no awards. So I'm I'm happy for it to stay there now. I mean, like it is a nice, it's a quite an interesting little trophy as well. So, you know, and the coach. Nice. I tell you what, and people don't pay enough attention to to really the the effort that a lot of the coaches put in and and did put in back then. Um, you know, keeping those teams together and making them stack as well as they did. It's just you know, it's just amazing stuff. Anyway, we digress. So get those two complaints out of the way. Um, I think this is going to be the hardest thing for us is to stop arguing for all five minutes so we can continue um, with the uh, the video pod as I like. So what is it going to be about? I mean. Obviously, we've discussed this and we've said, you know, obviously pre-COVID was the idea of, you know, especially with Arnold Schwarzenegger being involved and everything else. Like at the end of the day, it didn't work out. But now we're coming out of COVID um, in the week. I went up to Brisbane and yeah, things here looking good, like in-person tournament, you know, kids stacking. I, I was stunned. I was stunned because I thought Australia was still in prison lockdown there and, uh, you know. <laughs> They had yeah. stolen all your freedoms from you. Oh, mate, I'll tell you what. It was hard, though. In all honesty, half an hour in the morning, half an hour at night, um, 8 p.m. curfew, 6 a.m. out of the house, and um, literally that's that's it. And, um, yeah, police helicopters, cars that's out there cool. checking licenses cool. and everything else. But unbelievable. But anyway, we're hopefully through most of COVID, and obviously now things are picking up, which is great. And, yeah, the, the tournament was great. A lot of... A lot of smiling kids as well. Wayne, you know, Wayne Godinay, we're obviously now involved with um, the original creator of, uh, of Cup Stacking. He phones in. Uh, kids loved it. So the original That's inventor, the founder it. of everything, um, and he yeah gave him some advice and then the kids the kids just love that and I think that that's Wayne all over um doesn't matter what cups you stack with at the end of the day we've got to remember whose idea was it who created it um yeah definitely Wayne Godinay the 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 guy that basically put the smile on the dial of a lot of kids and like I say some of those kids there were 
um, especially up in Queensland, um, come from various backgrounds and, um, yeah, they, they had the opportunity to do something that um, that they love. But, um, yes, certainly, um, yeah, all credit to Wayne and what he've done there. But anyway, anyway. I think that's a story you're going to have to really share sometime. Right. Because I think you, I think that's a guy – there, I know some of the background, and I think yep. there's some things that would just be amazing that the journey. Yeah, that well, took. and I think that's why we've sort of set it up. We like, obviously, we were um, we were probably two of the most experienced um, coaches. Um, I like the uh, the uh, listener that was in our group that actually said that if Mount Rushmore was for um, stacking coaches, it would be yourself, Burkhart, and myself on the old Mount Rushmore. I don't think that's far off the mark, like charisma, personality. Um, obviously, I didn't have the success of trophy wise, have you, you've quite pointed out, but um, we held our own. And for the numbers that we had, we certainly were well up there every time. But yeah, um, what do you reckon about the WSSA now, though? Are they, you know, like oh, we have some good good friends there, but like what's the what's the coaching situation like? Well, I got to take a time out here. What, what's with the Mount Vesuvius thing? What, what, what's up with that? Has someone smacked right, you at, a, at the tournament? No, it's a mosquito bite. Okay, from Queensland, happened to sort of you know on the <laughs> eyelid. But there. look, mate. Okay, that's why I've got the lights dimmed so you can see my screen is dimmed so it doesn't show up as much. You've picked it, but like no more. Okay, no eye jokes. Just just leave it at that. All right. No, I just. Uh, I like asked I'm... you about the coaching situation. You know, oh, what, oh, okay. you know what are you looking? At? Let's face it. It's there world championships this weekend what are you looking forward to seeing the most i I tell you it it it, you know when i was on their website and i was reading about the tournament and stuff it doesn't come across to me as much of a tournament because where's the head-to-head competition where's the fans where's the you know the camaraderie and the the head-to-head action like you're going to be in one little location and you might have five stackers i mean Where's the thrill? Where's the excitement? Well, I mean, and, and you might just walk into the top spot because you're, you're not really competing against anybody in house. That's right. And, and, and obviously there's no pressure in there and everything else, but um, I mean, we obviously both um, were obviously the online championships last year. We had a look at, I, you know, unbeknown to the evil empire, I was actually coaching in there. Um, <laughs> uh, and, and if only they knew where my stackers had finished on the, uh, on the, uh, the podium, so to speak. So um, yeah. And that was the beauty about online is basically, yeah, you could talk to people over uh, zoom like we're doing here, but at least online you had some picture in picture people versing each other or yeah. your new times that people were setting directly before you or what you had to be. But now it's like, Oh, let's stack by yourself, put your scores into the computer. And then you'll find out if you're a world champion. I don't think that's right. I, I, I like at the end of the day, think about it in these terms as well. Is that really fair as well? Because I sort of read that there was like two stack of champions. Um, so like, like, well, more than two, like, like each Ooh, satellite Every country gets a stack. Yeah, that's right. So basically, and like say Australia, um, like the state of stacking in Australia, you can see I've been poking a bit of fun this week, which is um, all well and good. But my association, which is Cup Stack Australia, like after we boycotted um, the Australian team that was WSSA at the time, we boycotted their world championships in 2018 and said, we're never stacking with you again. You've got this list of stackers on this side with times. And then you've got, hey, no doubt. I coached him number one in Australia, one of the fastest stackers in the world. There's no doubt. But after number one, you've got this side that's just leading the way. And so, you know, like I, I sort of see it as, and I'm a businessman, let's face it. Stacking is about being a business. I'm CEO of Stack Zone. Um, Speed Stacks Australia is there, which also controls the WSSA. Um, I think a documentary said that. Yeah. So some person that's in charge there controls the cups, controls the equipment. You get what I'm saying. But anyway, <laughs> The point is they are that company and they say they're the leader in sports stacking. Okay. Yet when you look at the leader and that's why in, in the week I put a you know a bit of a jive post about who are the best masters stackers in the country. Who's the top five. Um, I think you've got to look at that and say, what is the state of play? So in Australia with only having, you know, pretty much one of the fastest stackers in the world with no competition, he, he can hit for the fences and, you know, I hope he does well. Don't get me wrong, but what about Chan Kang in Malaysia that knows there's a few people that could knock him out of that stack of champions. So, oh, you, you know, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like stacker in Australia gets two, three swings at the, 
you know, even if he, I'll, I'll be honest, even if he tripped over, fell over, went to the table and, you know, set like an, an 18 <laughs> second cycle, he'd still get in their stack of champions looking at their previous results. Like he's not in cup stack, you know, where it's competitive and, you know, we've still got some, um, some great times there, but um, yeah, I, I just, yeah, I just think the whole idea of having that side of a tournament, why didn't they, you know what I mean? Like New Zealand and Australia together, Singapore, Malaysia, just mix. Uh, Amer- Do you know if any, if Canada are coming down to the American one at all? Or? I, I don't know. I didn't, I didn't see the list of countries that were attending, but yeah, you yeah. certainly could have combined countries that were close. Cause I understand international travel is a little tricky right now with some countries, but you could have pulled it off. You could have had some countries come together to yeah. make it a little more legitimate competition atmosphere for the stackers. Yeah. Oh, there's, 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 there's no, honest. there's no, there, you know, stacking, you know, by yourself, basically, you know, it's, it doesn't drive you. It doesn't motivate. No, it you. doesn't. I mean, and, that, and that's something I think both you and I as well, like when we went to Oceanside and saw the way that it should be. Um, and we know that, I don't know why, um, it hasn't been like that in, you know, speed sex WSSA, maybe they couldn't cope with the head to head competition and a bit of push and shove. But when we were across the table for each other, for the very oh, first time, I felt something like I'd felt on the football field. Yep, oh, yeah. You get that in your relays, but in your individuals, it's, it's not the same, but here when you're versing, you know, the, the other opponent and it's just head to head. Fantastic. But, um, but yeah, you don't obviously get that in the, you know, in the time trials of the, as we call them, um, and the WSSA, but obviously like I say, Still, my you know my daughter was a six-time world age group champion with time trials, so there's nothing wrong with time trials, but the head-to-head takes it to another level. But um, and that's why we're here today, basically to um, you know to show off these bad boys. Have you got your uh, your little championship belt there? It's never okay. far away. Never there we go. Now these right. started as a little bit of I would say not tongue in cheek because obviously um, you know we don't ridicule the sport. I mean anyone that says that we were serious. Um, cup stacking coaches who defended it to a hilt is the truth. But in the in uh, when that how this started was saying away, hey, I've had a little bit of fun. Uh, Mark and I, the modern you know gladiators of cup stacking, had like to take on you know Matt and uh, Nacho, who were the you know cup stackers, Johnny Carson show and nineteen eighties right. who we've heard about, you know. And I tell you what, Matt Adama, he still got it. He, he sent both of us to the cleaners. There's no doubt. Um, but yeah, I mean that that was something that we started as a bit of fun, but then it became. Yeah, hey, this is going to be an event. So it's a it's a relay, but it's doubles and it's three 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 followed by three six three followed by a cycle tags in the middle, um, and then the winning team obviously first across the post. Um, same old story, fixing your fumbles and everything else. But hey, we are the heavyweight cup stacking tag team champions of the world, and as a special treat because I've obviously been poking a little bit of fun at WSSA Australia. And in all honesty, mate, did you see that video that I put on in the week? I did. And I saw the post that where you basically, you know, threw down the gauntlet. I mean, like the old days. Yep. uh, I don't, I honestly don't think anyone's going to pick it up. Well, I don't, I I don't think the courage is out there to personally. I don't. That's it. Because again, they hide behind the, Oh, sorry. We can only use speed stacks cups in our competition. So we can't compete. Well, Hey, speed stacks, cup stack, you shin, you know, Korean stacking cups. I don't care what cups you use, but at the end of the day, this is a challenge. And I tell you what, my company's come to the fore. We know the old speed stacks WSSA empire is about money. $5,000. Yep. You heard it. I am the CEO $5, of Stacks If we cannot beat Ooh. their two 35 plus master stackers for a combined three, 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 six, three and cycle, I will put $5,000 into their bank account. So any of them, and like I say, one of my, um, one of my Victorian Vikings, they've decided to turn to the dark side. Um, Jackie Bellows and hey, oh, Jackie Bellows and I, we've never had a crossword. She's still a friend. I'm still, you know, messenger here or there and wishing her all the best. But she's with the um, the Evil Empire. She can try and take me down if she wants this belt. Um, and she's eight. She oh, has beaten me in one competition. So let's not forget she can do the business. But anyone else that's out there, the new stackers that have shown up, come get them. Now, out. The, this is, again, the heavyweight division, right? Isn't yes. there a combined... Yeah, well, that's it. So, so obviously, because like I say, we can't have, you know, the younger kids who are, yeah, they're super fast and everything else. So again, we sort of tip the scales, so to speak. But yeah, the heavyweight division needs to be a combined weight of 200 kilos. Now, I don't know what that is in the American standard, but we're talking Australia anyway, so they know what it means. Both stackers (laughs) have to combine for 200 kilos to be in the heavyweight division. So, yeah. 
Yeah, I think that'll work. But you again, I, yeah. I don't see I don't see the gauntlet being picked up. I just no, I don't. I don't. I mean, like, you know, in all honesty, um, my mate there, um, he obviously he follows me. I'll tell you what, he follows me all the time. He's he's like that little that little smell that won't go away, you know, like in the, you know, in the back of your trousers, if you know, I should, I mean, again, we have, kids <laughs> listening, so, you know, but when you let a little bit of wind go and you know how sometimes it lingers in your shorts, that's what he reminds me of. And like, he's always there sniffing. He can't resist clicking on the old coach tie story. I've got all the screenshots. He's the first one there. I put a story on and two minutes later, click, 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 click. Now look, we're not going to mention he- names because I don't want, you know, any, any belittling of people because like I say, we are at the end of the day, you know, respectful but you'll know him as you know what i mean he's got he's got short arms no you know what i mean hey 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 hey. there's nothing he's not obviously you know he's he's challenged in that way but he's not obviously special needs or anything that way because there's no way i'm going to take the mick out of anyone with special needs of of course you know the documentary said that i was the biggest bully under the sun last year but hey at the end of the day those that know me no he is a well i was going to put a full-grown man but that's taken a bit too far, but you know what I'm saying? Like take up the gauntlet, you know, take up the gauntlet, mister. You know, you think you're the best, you, you know, come down and, you know, set your times. And then hopefully you can be one half of the WSSA Australia heavyweight tag team sport stacking competitors. But yeah, it's yeah, about the goal. But yeah, yeah that's, that's your that's trophy it. case. That's a that's special. It. I mean, that's it. Even the bragging, you know, whether it's upside down, right way up, <laughs> doesn't matter at the end of the day. The world heavyweight tag team champions of the world. Thunder from down under. Yeah, Coach Ty. You saw me. I beat your best with one try every time. And the, the cycle was fumbles. But anyway, enough of that. If you're big enough, set your times this weekend. Then Mark and I will do it live. We'll beat your times and we'll do it in. Do you reckon we say two or shall we say one go? Uh, no more than two. No more than two? Yeah, no there more than two. Go. We should oh. need more than two, but hey, maybe, maybe you know, one of them pulls something out that's extra special. Well, you just true. never know. But yeah, never anyway. Know. Anyway, so there we go. Tag team belts on the line this weekend. Whatever happens in that um, that little school arena, um, I wish all the competitors the best because, like, I say I don't. I, I'm not aggrieved with anyone in that association. I love the fact that kids are stacking. Um, we do refer to them as the Evil Empire. There's reasons that our um, video pod will say in the future why we think that way. Um, it's our opinion at the end of the day. Um, but yeah, all those kids, good luck today. Enjoy yourselves. But saying that you're in the world championships, I don't think it quite cuts the, cuts the mustard. You know, with that first time that I experienced the world championships for real, when you came up against Berka and his team Germany, when Molly as a young, you know, nine-year-old up against the legend Timo Rule. I mean, come on, that that's when you're talking world championships. Let's give me goosebumps yeah. now. Um, and hey, let's not forget, you know, um, Timo's brother, you know what I mean? You know, Timo's brother, you know, little, he, little, he, you know, Timo has a brother. What? He has a brother. No, it begins what? with an L begin Lee Leon. Leon. Oh, Leon. Leon. Yeah. Oh, you know, cause yeah, it's always yeah. Timo, 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 you know, but anyway, Leon, he does have a brother, you know, pro- but, wait, um, isn't that the prodigal son? Yes. Yes. The prodigal <laughs> son. And this weekend, cause obviously Timo has retired. We both know we are cheering on Leon, Leon big time because he's going after Voldemort. Now, we know, you know, the name that must not be spoken. And we've had that joke in the Australian team for years. Voldemort is going to be in that South Australian arena today. His name will not be spoken in cup stack, but he's going to be there giving it his all. Whether it's good enough to beat some of our top stackers is another thing. But, hey, because they're not competing with him, let's let, let's let Leon take out the trash, shall we? So, you know, <laughs> Leon... We're with you this this uh, this weekend. All right. So um, so what's next on the agenda? What uh, obviously we've challenged the the WS Australia. We've done the five grand challenge. Anything else that um, we want to bring up before we? Well, we want people to know that we're we're going to do this from time to time. Yep. And we want it to be interactive, which means from time to time we're going to have to have some guests on. So if nice. any stacker out there, coach stacker, wants to come on, message us. We'll set it up. We'll bring you on open discussion, have a good time. Cause that's what uh, coaching cups is all about. That's it. And I, and I think that's the most important part is that, that history shouldn't be forgotten. And we have some great rivalries in history that again, when you look back to the era of team USA versus Germany versus the slow start of Germany, remember the USA versus <laughs> the slow man, I would, you know what I'd love to get, I'd love to get, yeah, the team O back. Um, I'd love to get the big man back Burka and just, just talk about, yeah, that moment where, 
the old Bob Fox comes together and he brings myself together and he brings Burkhart together and has a little bit of a chat about what's fair and what's not and what the pair of us should be doing. I mean, if we could relive that, because we know our respect for Burkhart is is paramount. Yeah, I, I, yep. it, you know, he's he he for cup stacking was the you know the Michael Jordan of coaches. You know, even seeing him with his book and jotting down stats and that. I mean, yeah, um, we love the man and like I say, the three of us together in that arena. Um, yeah, brought the magic and the charisma. So let's hope some of that magic and charisma will be in um, in the um, arena But um, this weekend, especially in Australia, because I, I heard, you know, our, our friend, you know, um, the good old um, Adam, Adam, Fleur, Fleur, I think it's Adam, Adam Fleur, because he, you know what he used to do for Australia, don't you? Because you've seen some of his memes. You've, you've seen his Larry memes, haven't you? Like all that, you know, like when he, when I used to show you the memes of like oh, yeah, things yeah. about Larry, he did yep. them all. Like he oh. actually, yeah, 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 he, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and I've still got them all, like, because he used to send them by private messenger. A bit stupid because, like, your private messages never disappear. Your digital footprint's all there. And I've got this bookload of, of image. And he, I mean, no, I'll tell you what, no subject was untouchable for Adam. Give me his credit. Give me his credit. He went after him at the wedding, his wedding to, you know, to Marina. I mean, like, you know, he, he did everything. He, like, literally nothing was out of bounds. And now he I finds him. Fine in the evil empire right next to him, probably being that same bad smell that he's, he's after the coach tied to Larry. I mean, you know what I'm saying? So like, you know, yeah, 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 yeah. So, but anyway, he fancies himself as a bit of a rapper, you know what I mean? So I can, I can see the old Adam getting out there and like, you know, Hey, yo, 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 hanging with the guy called you, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, so, Hey, just get the charisma going, get the crowd going this weekend, you know? So, you know, we're looking forward to that. Looking forward. I mean, Hit Imagine that going to YouTube. Yeah, hit the roof. Like, you know, come on. Yeah, Adam, Adam, you're the boy, your boy, your boy. Yeah, you, you get me anyway. Anyway. All right. So, yeah. So, like I say, um, I, I would love to, um, I mean, obviously, Chang Kang Ian. I mean, I've known Chang Kang Ian since he was, you know, well, yeah. uh, probably here, like, yeah. you know. Yeah. Um, and just to look at some of the photos that I've got, the videos. I mean, our, our photos and video history is probably second to none because, the main thing, you know, Larry and, you know, Big Don wanted to do was get the logos in shot and couldn't really oh, care yeah. about what was happening around the cups. It was all about the logos. But um, but we've got, you know, the ad lib photos, the, the, the stacking room training photos with, you know, kids going head to head together. And, oh, a lot and, of battles you know, you know, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I reckon that's going to be interesting as well. So, um, and again, we, we have to keep it short because, I mean, I, I'll, I'll be honest, I don't know how we've gone, how long we've gone now, but I reckon 75% of the audience has turned off. Because oh, sure. these days is about short and sharp and getting the message, or maybe we'll have to do like at one minute this happens, at five minutes that happens, <laughs> at seven minutes. You know, I mean, the, the, in all honesty, sport, when you sit down on the front of the TV, you might have a nice beverage, you're just having your beverage, you look forward to listening to an hour of stats and an hour of people looking at games and analyzing. Or if you're going to truly be a sport and if cup stacking or sport stacking, one, you don't just call sports stacking and it's a sport because we called it sports stacking. No. Uh, if you're going to be a sport, you've got to analyze it. You've got to look at oh, it yeah. and really get into it deep. So if you can't look past a two minute video and not stay switched on, how are you going to be a sport? Like, how are you going to, you know? <laughs> well, so what we'll need to do is we'll need to get some video and then we can sit there and we can play the video and then we can analyze and see where there was a mistake, you know, where they lost time or yep. where they lost that race. Yeah. Okay. So, and, and, I, and again, but again, it's got to be quick. It's got to be short and sharp. You know what I mean? It's got to be short and sharp. Well, Get to the point. Let's be honest. Today's, yeah. today's youth have like really short attention spans. No, it it's is. All and, and again, we don't want people turning off our, you know, video, you know, pod, like we want people, to, but again, it's important that if you are going to be a sport, it's about discussing the controversial things as well. Like, like even oh, in the yeah. master stacker, there's some of the best master stackers in the world in that group. And I know they've seen the message where I've put out a, Hey, what's your, what's your best rivalry, you know, that you've ever seen in, in, you know, in stacking. I mean, there was no comments in there. So you might as well, there's a crickets chirping in. Chirp, chirp, <laughs> chirp, 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 chirp. Come, be brave. You know, Alan from Malaysia, you're still our good friend, Alan chip in there. Tell them what, you know, what your rivalry is. Cause I know you'd like, even though you said you were mates with those Germans, I knew the rivalry you and the Germans had each one of you trying to beat each other. They're the sort of rivalries that make sport. Okay. Dennis, loose cannon and i know we had that discussion like you know 
top five cup stacking adults that would be in a UFC cage. And I think you had him on your team. But I, oh, reckon, absolutely. I reckon he's too much of a loose cannon. I reckon he'd lose it to the point where he just, he'd try and take on four blokes and last all of like two seconds. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> just, good old Dennis. You're going to love him. You're going to love him. But, you know, hey, anyway. So, yeah, so I, I reckon for now, what do you reckon? I reckon. Um, well, I was going to say, let's end yeah. on, let's on, a, on a high note here. Yeah. Right? Over your shoulder, I see this box. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I was, yeah, I remember. Wait, yeah, I, I sent you a message. Look at that. Does that say Iran? That's Iran. Now, if you'd have told That's me, not a bomb, is it? Coach? Hey, 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 come on. Come on. Hey, oh, oh, good, oh. No, no, no. Come on. The Iranian Association is a good association. That is typical of an American to make such a stereotypical joke, and that is not appropriate. Okay, that's the sort oh, of things I'm, that are not appropriate. Am I, I going to get banned now? Hey, mate, you might. Hey. Did you see me ban myself in the week? How cool was that? Like, you know, yeah. <laughs> ban for the term of his natural life, you know? Anyway, but this is um, a present that I've I've had. A, I'll be honest, I've had it here a while and I've not got around to doing it because my business is going so well. Have you seen it? Like, I'm oh, yeah. flourishing, flying into state, TV appearances. Um, I, it's been bigger and better since they leave in the evil empire. So I literally haven't had time um, to do things. But now... Because the kids love a unboxing video, maybe at the, the replay of this on YouTube, we'll put go to whatever minute it is, unboxing video of whatever is in here. Um, yeah. And in all honesty, mate, let's hope it isn't. Well, I, I'm on pins and needles here. I want to see what's right. in this. Okay. Box. So I think the kids, when they do it, they sort of get the scissors and they say, only me, I'm now doing an unboxing video. <laughs> and I, guy, kids, I don't mean to take the mick out of you because like, you know, but again, you know what I'm saying? Like, just stop the only man. Just be yourself when you're doing those videos. Okay. Here's an unboxing video. Let's get to it. Simple as that. So here we go. Yeah. Slice it there. Yeah. There we go. Bit of brute strength. Boy, that's the we go. Well tape. Right, so we have a plastic bag. Wow. I ran yeah. sent now you a that, plastic bag. That is that's an Iranian, mate, mate. I mean, that is even in itself. That is an Iranian plastic bag. That's from Iran. Yeah, that's well, that's amazing, isn't it? Oh, oh, oh my goodness! Look at these bad boys. Oh, Oy. So I don't know. There we go. And see the logo. Oh yeah, yeah. Ivan Cheney, lovely. So these cups are obviously um, modelled on. The William Polly. Yeah. Well, the way, well, we say modeled on William Polly, but like say, look at speed stakes. They were, you know, breaking too many of them. And, you know, obviously the best cups that they ever made, they then decide to put three lines in them. And I tell you yeah, what, I yeah, never, yeah. I'll never forget the time when Aaron Gers said to <laughs> me, they make no difference to the stacking at all. I mean, every kid in the world knew it did. Are you a moron? And I remember, can you remember me calling him a moron that day? He said, don't speak to me like that. Yeah, but he, he, he didn't do sports. Like he didn't understand what competition Mate. and equipment is about. Mate, come on. How do you know he didn't do sports? Have you seen the boy skip? I mean, <laughs> I've seen that video of him doing skip. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh my goodness. But anyway, yeah. So there's the uh there's that uh -huh. set there. That's and then here we are. Now this is what I like as well, a true yellow set. Like wow. you know that you know the speed stack Almost. sets like more like a green. They call it. I think they actually call it yeah. green, and I get it confused with that. But that's an actual yellow set of cups. So yeah. So what I'll do, I'll get my um, my stackers. Maybe my young stacker who tests most of my cups, Zeppelin. Um, obviously, he's known as Cup Boy on YouTube. Um, I might get him to do a um, yeah a test on those maybe on the weekend or in the week. But yeah. So anyway, there we go. Unboxing video. Um, there's the box. Okay. There's the. Uh, plastic bag from Iran. Okay. And there's two sets of cups that thank you very much in all seriousness. Um, obviously um, I'll do, obviously what do we do? Do we tag him in the video? What do we have to do? Like whatever. However, we'll get the message to him. Thank you for that gift. Um, but if someone had told me, you know, 10, 15 years ago that I'd be receiving a gift from Iran, um, I think you could have knocked me down with it. There's no oh, way. Yeah. You, you, you wouldn't have believed it. Yeah. Cool. Knock you over um, with a white feather. Oh, look at this. There's a little jigsaw puzzle in here as well. I don't know if you can see that. I don't know what that's about. Oh. Little jigsaw puzzle. Ooh. Yeah. I haven't got time to do that now, but um, yeah, anyway. Uh, you might need help figuring go. that out. Hey, come on. Come on. You know, I mean, come, come on. on. You know, now, you are Australian yeah. after all. Well, look, I let it lie, but like I say, when you said, 
100% coaching record against you. I, one of my, my teams have never lost to you in international competition. The last bragging rights that I had was in Oceanside, California, and I was the brother who came out on top in the head-to-head challenge in the birthplace of cup stacking, Oceanside, California. I'm not worthy. Oceanside, not worthy. California. And... That I reckon is a um, a wrap. I don't. I think we've covered most things. Just again, it, this is a bit of an outline. Um, if people expect us to get right to that, and again, oh, why didn't you say why you've left the WSSA? Why? Oh, what about Simon Lee? Why did you remove him from the Australian team, guys? It's all coming. Okay, we're going to go through it. We've listed two thousand and nine all the way through. Okay, and there's some real cutting edge stuff as well. There is some real cutting edge stuff as well. It's it's amazing what has happened in the world of stacking plastic cups in our time when you look about you know some of the things we've gone through the secret meetings 2017 i reckon everyone's going to love remember the secret meeting that we went to with other representatives during the logoless cups can you remember oh. that yeah 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 how about <laughs> we tell the world about cool. that secret meeting and if we'd have made the decision in another direction i wonder where we would be now but you know what i wouldn't change it because then i wouldn't have met wayne I wouldn't That's have right. realized the, the whole spiritual aspect and why cup stacking was there in the first place and why we don't need to take over the world. We just need to see kids stacking, having smiles on their faces and basically improving their self-esteem. That's what it's about, building positive pyramids. And guys, don't say that's a WSSA saying because it is not. They are Wayne's words and the WSSA have reprinted those words, but they did not think them up. Wayne got an A. He's the man building positive pyramids are his words. And he's so happy that, yeah, even in the WSSA, he's so happy that his invention can touch so many kids around the world. And that's, and that's what we're about now. Just enjoying, enjoying life, not trying to take over the world, but um, yeah, just now going to yeah, share maybe, a few stories. Maybe challenging, challenging the uh, status quo a little bit, maybe. Hey, mate. Rocking hey, a mate. little bit of the boat. Rocking the boat. There are going to be people falling out of boat. And not only that, they're going to they're going to be swimming to the shore and try and hide as quick as possible. Because, like I said, your words don't lie. Okay, we know that documentary. Great stitch up. I tell you what, I even put a post on where I was in a McLaren. Did you see that? I was actually in a McLaren. What cup stacking coach dresses up as a Mandalorian, puts himself in a McLaren, and says the words about three one three? And if no one got the message on what 313 was, that was directed at a few people in particular. And I think they got the message because, again, right there, clicking on the old coach high story, right there, clicking on it like that little, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> anyway, brother, the tag team champions of the world, heavyweight, the thunder from down under, Coach Ty, from the fighting city of Philadelphia, Mark. Psycho sites, and together we are destruction and destroy. And if you ain't down with that, we got two words for you. Suck it. Actually, that was stack it. Oh, <laughs> <man. laughs> oh no. sorry, I forgot. This is the kid friendly version. Yeah, kid friendly oh, version. But again, <laughs> isn't that perfect? Because we are ripping off D Generation X from the World Wrestling Federation and one of their sayings, and we've renamed it, but it's still the same thing. And you've actually slipped into, oh, it's not sports stacking, it's cup stacking. Oh, yeah. But I always, I, you know what I love? I loved in the documentary, and I'll play it, the old one meal. Okay, I call him one meal, all right? He's usually at the back there, WSSA co-director apparently. Usually got a hot dog in one hand, hamburger in the other, right? Yeah, my name's one meal. Um, when I think of cup stacking, I think of um, I think of an activity. But what we've done at Speed Stacks and and the World Championships and what we do and called it sports stacking. I think of a sport. <laughs> you know the man. One meal, okay. One meal. That's his nickname. You know him. I know him. Good Christian upbringing bloke. But I tell you what, let's have him on the show one day. The old one meal. Let him pick up a white feather and come on. I reckon he'd be interested. You, are you still in touch with him? Are you still still in touch with the old uh, one meal? Possibly. 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 No. Yeah, possibly. Yeah, no, good. Well, not, not all good, mate. I don't know. I, 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 I unfortunately don't follow things closely enough to know if I've been banned from places. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, that's... And again, banned. I mean, who gets banned from a sports stacking group that is a discussion group that is controlled by adults 
And I get banned for defending violence against women. So d- defending not the violence against women, but defending the girl that had violence committed to her. And they threw me out because I was too outspoken, apparently. Or, yeah, they, they said antisocial behavior. What, telling them that violence against women is not right? That's antisocial, oh, you, you know, but apparently were- someone had a little cry, um, you know, just like the old good old Larry in uh, 2017 logo, Littlest Cups, we'll bring that conversation up. There's no doubt. But yeah. You were whether about was- five years ahead of the Me Too movement. That was your problem. Yeah. That, well, that is a problem. And like, we've got to be careful as well. Politically correctness. Okay. Let's, let's try and stay as politically correct as we possibly can do. Okay. So like we say, and at the end of each, I think we should do something like where we do like not a disclaimer, but where we say, if we, you know, how they say, if we've offended anyone, blah, oh, blah, yeah. blah, you know, so, but I think ours should be, I hope you've enjoyed this video pod. Um, we do not mean to offend anyone. However, if you have been offended, we apologize for absolutely nothing. Take a good, long, hard look at yourself in the mirror and wake up to yourself and think, why am I upset by two bl- grown blokes talking about plastic cups and having a bit of fun? Do you know what I mean? I think that's our disclaimer. So we'll write well, that one down and we'll say that after every show. I'll have to wear it next time, but I have a hat that my kids got for me that says, I'm offended that you're offended. <laughs> that just sums up, sums up the world, doesn't it? Sums up the world. But anyway, anyway. All right, mate. Well, it's been uh, nice chewing the fat and, right, um, and uh, yeah, no, it's, you know, it's great. And we'll see you next time. And good luck again to all them stackers out there. Oh, yeah, no, and that, that's it. Stack stack smooth, stack fast, have a great time. And like I say, even though we've said we don't agree with the World Championships format, have a great time, kids, because that's what it's about. You know, have a really good time. And, hey, looking forward to see the uh, the times that we have to beat to stay the World Tag Team Heavyweight Champions. Yeah. All right, brother. We'll see you Bye. soon. Adios. Catch you, mate. See ya.